Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. And if you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Diddy. Recording my video today inside because outside they are working in my garden. I will make too much noise. Short TA update on this beautiful Monday morning, the 6th of March in 2023. And um, let's see what the Bitcoin weekly close was. And when I see more on the charts, I also have three extra charts at the end of the video that will explain a really cool cycle to you guys that probably most of you didn't see yet. Yeah. So keep on hanging in through all the boring stuff to get to the action at the end. Uh, at least some people think it's boring stuff, but like let's jump into the charts. Stop talking, Diddy, uh, to show you what I mean. Bam, over here. Where is my mini, 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 mini me? There it is, mini D. The small mini me right in the corner. Beautiful. Now, um, if we look at this chart, this is the four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we have the bam bam indicator, uh, the margin call all combined. And we can see that the market is going sideways. Now, I want to zoom out a little bit like this. And we can see that every time when there is a compression in that Bollinger Band, that blue area, the two, two blue lines, we make an explosive move afterwards. Bam, we went up. Compression. Bam, we went down. Compression, bam, we went down. We will probably see another compression over here. And then the question is, are we going to move back up or are we going to move even further down back to that 21K level? Now, if we look at the volume, then we can see that the moment why we are holding support over there. Look, look at the right side. We can see that there is volume. This is a huge gap, which means there is no volume. Uh, I will soon make a video on, on how to read this whole volume. Um, the yellow selling, the blue is buying. If there is not many activities um, in, a, in a certain area, it's easy for the Bitcoin price to surpass that area into the next resistance. And the resistance or the support are these huge peaks in the volume. So support, support. Now resistance. That uh, red line is also part of the volume. There's a point of control, which is the biggest area of resistance at the moment. That is around 23,099 on the four hour chart. Bam Bam already indicated along. Um, we are closing above the yellow stepping line. The blue line is above the yellow white line. The white line is starting to turn up again. We are at 33. We can go all the way up to, just to show you, um, levels that we normally go to are these levels over here of 75. So yes, there is a lot of upward movement possible. And we can also see that um, in the bottom indicator here, we see green now. So this could be a perfect moment to take a long and buy, buy with and um, always use a stop loss, of course, because the market is a little bit crazy at the moment. Now, if we zoom out to the day channel, that is this one, we can see that Bitcoin broke that 50 day moving average, that green line over there. The best thing would have been if we would have held support. We didn't hold support, we broke it. So then we fall mostly back to the next level of support, which is at 21,900 US dollars, somewhere in that area. Um, Am I freaking out? No, I'm not freaking out. It's still a golden cross. We are still higher than the previous low. So if you look from the bottom to a high, to a higher low, to a higher high, to a higher low, we are still a higher low than this one over there and then that one over there. So it's still an upwards movement, but we need some action and positive volume get into the market to um, see an explosive move, in my opinion. And that's what we probably will see on this chart here, the five day chart. Um, I've been sharing this chart already for years. Um, yes, this is the Gaussian channel and the Gaussian channel. I also made a video about it like a couple of weeks ago, I think a month or one and a half month ago. I told you guys, you know, I already drew that yellow line at that time. I said, okay, that, that Gaussian channel is going to go down and come up again. And there will be a moment that we break into that Gaussian channel. And that was exactly after 59 bars. And um, here it was 51 bars that we um, broke out and broke in again. And here it was 70 bars to break out and to broke in, break in again. So um, we are right on schedule. The thing that we are seeing now on the Gaussian channel is that we are hitting that midline of resistance. And that midline of resistance is now important. We need to break that midline. And that midline is around 24K. If we don't break that, yes, we can retest that bottom of that Gaussian channel, which is at 20,221K levels. So yes, this is an important move. And did we break that the previous times? Let's, let's show over here. Um, for example, here we went in, resistance, 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 bam, and then we broke it. Here we went in, first resistance, and then we broke it. Can we go even further back here to the beautiful 2015 where everybody is comparing this run with? We broke in, here, resistance, we fell down, 
we came back in again and then we were um, strong enough to break it and that was a huge bull run in 2017 all the way to 20k so that is what the Gaussian channel is showing us um, everything is on track yes same amount of days yes we will go green again and yes there will be another bull market now in the weekly we can see um, it's of course seven days then instead of the five days out and I told you guys we will have a bottom we will create a high and we will create a higher low and then again a higher high and then again a higher low that's how bitcoin moves out of the bear market that higher low that is the thing that we're waiting for now is it going to be around these levels 21,600, or is it going to be lower is it going to be here around that purple line 19,500. even that could still be a higher low why that purple line because normally um, Bitcoin finds support on the 200 weekly moving average. This time we found support on the 300 weekly moving average, the, per the purple. And so that could mean that that gap will be filled again. We went up, we come down, and then again we go higher up. So this higher low is going to be somewhere in between what we are seeing at the moment, uh, 21k or even all the way down to that purple line 19k so then i would still not be freaking out because that would be 4k higher than the bottom at 15,000 says 600 zes it's a dutch word for six sorry for that now um now i'm gonna jump into those other three really cool charts by the way guys if you want to trade all of this of course use uh, my referral link to buy bit down below the video of course max step again won the race because he's sponsored by Bybit. Bybit is just the best exchange out there sponsoring the best racers out there and by that also being the best trading platform that's like very logical did but still if you want to trade trade on Bybit, claim your bonuses over there the link is down below just click the link go to my uh, personal landing page on bybit and you can see how many bonuses you can receive for just signing up and depositing it's amazing there is also a very important link to a second exchange that one is apex pro please sign up to apex pro apex pro is a decentralized exchange where you hold your own coins in custody but where you can trade with leverage in a decentralized way they have now uh, i think a 100,000 usdc price pool and some other stuff going on and bonuses so if you want to sign up to apex pro down below the link now let's quickly jump into um those other beautiful charts bam over here this is the first one this one is showing you the Bitcoin circulating supply on exchanges. So how many Bitcoins are still held on exchanges? Now we can see that is not that many Bitcoins at the moment. At the moment here, it's around 11.9% or something. And we are at a very low level. This level, the last time we saw a level of like below 12% is here at the 2017-18 top. That is where we saw those levels. So yes, here, sorry, I'm, 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 I'm even there. We need to draw like this and you can see it. Here, yes, 2017, 18, that was the last time we had only like 11.9% Bitcoins on the exchange. After that, it only grew. A lot of people put their Bitcoins on the exchanges and now people are withdrawing them again. So we are back at a beautiful level of only 11% on exchanges. People are huddling, huddling, huddling. Beautiful news, of course, uh, that people now are huddling their Bitcoins longer, longer and longer, which again will lead to the next phase in the Bitcoin bull run, in my opinion. And that will be something like BAM over here. Um, on this chart, you can see very beautiful how Bitcoin has developed in the last couple of uh, cycles. How Bitcoin could be developing in the next cycle, guys. Yeah, nothing is like guaranteed but this is how bitcoin has been moving and how it could be moving now again um this one is made i think by here the scalping pro the scalping pro something like that yeah i just found it on twitter uh bottom formation pre-halving run bam up only that's the uh, blue band when red changes into blue here again bottom formation pre-halving run and then bam we will flip blue and we'll go up only he's uh suggesting like 220k i'm still happy with 130k something in this area already as a new bull on top um which is a beautiful double of the previous bull on top you know uh, we can see that the tops are less steep at the moment but you know we never know we can have a blow of top again all the way up to 220 to 300k as well but this is what is happening we are in this bottom formation um period of the bitcoin cycle and if we are in those we will get some pre-halving runs like the 2019 run 3k to 14k back here and then bam up so we can have something like that again now yes 
you could go up here to 40 to 50k and then fall down again to 26k and then start that huge bull run that is a way that bitcoin has been moving and could be moving again and um, if you want to zoom out a little bit more then bam i think this is a beautiful chart i saw today on twitter and um, that one was created by the rational root of course i love all the charts that he's creating he's creating a shitload of charts and um, this one is showing you how the Bitcoin spiral and the halving cycle is working and playing out. We can see the halvings over there. We can see the bottoms here, those red dots. And we can see the all-time highs over here, those blue dots. And every time when the bottom is in in Bitcoin, probably now again, that bottom is in here, we are moving up and we are moving up and we will be moving up into the next circle. And the next circle will be here this circle the outer ring of this beautiful spiral and yes around that halving we will probably be around that level over there and then of course we will again a few months later create new all-time highs and and that is always happening around the same amount of blocks and that's what you see on this one the halvings are always of course at the same amount of blocks then we have the all-time highs they are always between 52k blocks and 78k uh, um, blocks and then we have the bottom which is always around 130k blocks every time that's how the spiral work and is expanding and yes the more it's expanding the higher the bitcoin price is going that is what this chart is showing you and that is what you should understand about bitcoin so you should learn to bam zoom out and just understand that bitcoin moves in a certain way for years so the thing that you should be doing is buying bitcoin around that bottom now and selling around that top don't try to get the perfect bottom don't try to get the perfect top dca dollar cost average just keep buying around these prices everything below 25k i think is like a very cheap price for bitcoin and everything above 60k will be a beautiful price to start selling your bitcoins and that will mean that 25k times two and a half for example that's already 60k so you're multiplying your capital by, by 2.5 by buying now and selling around that previous top that we already had and then you hold a little bit to the next top why would you want to catch that perfect top that's almost impossible nobody can predict the market in that way but we do know when we are nearing the top and around that period of time you should be selling your bitcoins into us dollar teeter not into your bank account because the bank accounts will forbid you in the next bull run to be buying bitcoin again so only into stable coins in the same beautiful monetary industry that we are creating the cryptocurrency industry and there you hold it a little bit till the bitcoin price crashes again somewhere in 2020 seven twenty eight and then again you start buying back in that bear market that's how you play the long-term game now that was everything for today i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about these beautiful charts especially the last one i hope you all understand it if not go back pause the video and read at your own pace what you think about that chart. Now, thank you for watching see you tomorrow again Bam.